All right, this is the second part for section 2-1. Um, in this part, we're talking about what they call part-to-part -part or part-to-whole comparisons. So we have this table of information. We're talking about tuition and fees for college, books and supplies, room and board, transportation, other expenses, and then the total of all of those. So if I wanted to compare how much tuition and fees I paid to the total cost, we have to have some comparison value. So 100 is usually a very common term because percents are 100. So what I want to do is I want to compare tuition and fees to the total cost. So tuition and fees are 3264 and our total cost is 15933. And I want to compare this by using making the total per 100. So I'm going to set this at a scale of 100. I could possibly set it at a scale of 1. I could set it at a scale of um, 1,000. But 100 is very common because then we're talking about a percentage. So if I cross multiply, if I do my cross product on this problem, I'll end up finding out that the tuition is about 20.49 per 100 total. So basically for every $20 or for every $100 spent, I'm spending $20 of that on tuition. So this is thought of as a percent. So basically my tuition is 20% or 20.5% of my total expenses. Uh, room and board to the total cost. So again, room and board is $74.66 and total cost is $15,933. Again, we're going to scale it to 100. So I find out that 46.86% of my total cost is going to go to room and board. Um, you can also look at this as $46.00 for every 100 is going to go to room and board. Okay, books and supplies is another example. So we're doing the same thing and we find out that it's 7.97. So again, it's 7.97% or you can say $7. Another way of saying this is $7.97 for every $100 of every $100 is for books and supplies. All right, and the last comparison would be, what if I want to compare two things? Like I want to compare the tuition and fees to the room and board. This is what we refer to as a part to part ratio because we're comparing two parts as, a pair, as opposed to comparing the part to the whole. So again, I have to have some ratio for comparison. So in this case, I'm going to use a 1 as my ratio of comparison. Um, so what we're doing is the tuition and fees are 3264. The room and board is 7466. So when I set up my ratio, I'm going to be setting up my proportion. I mean, I'm going to be setting up the 3264 over X and the 7466 to 1. When I cross multiply, I get 0.437. So what we're looking at here is basically for every $1 spent on room and board, 43 cents or... 44 cents is spent on tuition and fees. So again, this is another type of ratio for comparison. I could easily have said this would be 100, and that could change the way that I read the statement, but it's the same idea. So for part to whole, we're always comparing one part to the total value. And for part to part, we're comparing two different parts. And you just have to read the directions carefully as to how they want you to set this, whether they want you to set it at 100, or whether they want you to set it at 1, or maybe some other value. I hope this helps.